Welcome back to the My Parents Office podcast. I am your host, Andrew Diaz. Today we've got episode 103, uh, Second Camp Chronicles. I've got my teammate uh, and senior, Josh Colmer, joining today. But before we get into that, make sure you follow us on social media at My Parents Office on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, uh, Facebook page, My Parents Office podcast, and Substack articles from the office. But uh, Without further ado, Josh, what's going on, man? Not much, bro. I just got done with some lunch, waiting on this afternoon practice we got going. So I know it's uh, so today's actually we're taping this on Sunday, um, first kind of day that it's not scorching out. I mean, yesterday you got here um, too late from getting off the ship, but uh, yesterday was hot. I mean, today's been pretty nice. So I- I'm actually looking forward to practicing, especially we're going to be in uppers for the afternoon, which will be pretty sick. But uh, so you spent the majority of the summer, it seemed like at sea, you started on sea term um, on the Kennedy. And then what was your uh, the second half of your summer? What did that look like for you? So the second half of the summer, I joined up with the General Rudder. It's the uh, Texas A&M's training ship. Yep. So I just need I didn't need all the days for commercial ship. So I was able to hop on here with a bunch of other cadets and just kind of make up the days needed work with some engineers from the actual, from the actual industry and learn some cool stuff, work on some cool engines and systems. So it was honestly a great learning experience. A lot of one-on-one time, even even though we weren't really dealing with too much cargo or anything, it was still ship life and just kind of hanging out with some cool cadets from around the country. Now, were you able to work out on the ship? How did that, uh, how did, especially you're going through first, Today is the first real day for you since getting back off the ship. How is it? Uh, do you feel behind or right where you want to be? Like, what's uh, how how did the ship kind of prepare you? Well, I mean, I could always I always feel like I could be a little farther ahead, but this ship didn't have a weight room on it, so we were kind of stuck outside. We had a pull up bar and some bands and some light dumbbells, so it's more prison workouts and push ups than anything, but. Definitely feeling it. Definitely good to be back in an actual gym and back with the team and everything like that. So I'm excited. So you went to Maine Maritime for your first two years. The program folds, and then you end up at Mass last season, obviously COVID year. What did your recruitment look like coming out of high school to land you in Maine? So coming out of high school, I was actually – I had um, preferred walk-on – from UNH, University of New Hampshire. And then I had some D2 offers, but nothing, none of those schools really stuck out to me besides the football program. Yep. So I was committed to St. Anselm College back in high school. And then uh, I just, I wasn't really feeling the school itself. Okay. And someone, t- someone told me about Maine Maritime. I, I mean, I talked to the coaches before and I was like, oh, no, I'm not really looking to play D3 football. But then as soon as I went on campus up there, I knew that was the degree I wanted. I love tearing shit apart. Stuff. Oh, shit. Looks like we uh, we lost Josh right there. But uh, let me shoot him a text to get him back back into the uh, into the meeting. Um, one second. All right, so I just shot him a text. He's texting me back right now. 